It's another edition of Digital Highlights. It was all Texas. They came out on fire, and it started with the senior, Chaz Fussell. She got herself back in the starting lineup and wasted no time putting up buckets, Fran. But it was the junior All-American candidate, Neca and Impali, who would, they would go to early and often. And then, of course, a moment in the game for Texas that will live in infamy. And Chas Purcell went down, and Texas had to take up a lot of slack. Well, it was really unfortunate. You hate to see that happen to any athlete, especially a senior. But hopefully it's not too bad. But Texas had some players come in off the bench and really stepped up for them. This was a hot shooting Idaho team. I mean, they launched the threes like layups. Well, they launched them to the tune of 29 attempts, but they only made seven, Fran. So the Texas defense definitely made a difference. Longhorn teammates picking up the slack. Rodrigo knocking that long ball down and then some good in and out ball reversal. Brady Sanders, yes. I really thought Texas did a good job moving the ball against this Idaho 2-3 zone, got the ball inside nicely, really was able to work nicely inside. In the second half, Neck and Polly going to work with a nice little pull through. They looked for She had a great afternoon. Well, she did. 21 points and 10 rebounds, her 17th career double-double. She's just a hard person to guard, a tough player. Fighting for playing time is Brianna Taylor, who pulls it through there for Texas. Nakia Jones, the only other Texas player in double figures, but Maggionite dialed it long. Well, that's what she needs to do from that power forward position. She really can stretch a defense, and we need to see more of that from her. Texas continued its long shooting assault. Henderson, and they will be heading into Big 12 play next week. Neka, you had 21 points and 10 rebounds today, your 17th career double-double. How'd you get that done today? Um, my teammates just happened to find me in the right spot. Um, work hard off the ball, and when the ball comes to you, you just put it in the square. You had a lot of good work against the zone defense today, heading into Big 12 play. Did you feel comfortable inside against those um, against that zone? Um, yeah, um, we try to off the ball. We try to seal and always command space. So I tried that my best that I could today, and the guards happened to find us in the right spot. Nakia Jones is coming in as a freshman, getting some quality minutes and really coming in for you and giving that energy kind of player like you do. Are, are y'all enjoying her presence on the floor? I'm really excited for what she's going to bring um, with her ability. She's able to spread the floor a lot. She can shoot the outside shot and she can bang in there with the post. So I'm just really excited for her. Well, good, li uh, good luck in Big 12 play. Thank you. Karen, you had nine players with five or more points today. Your depth really came through for you. I think so. I, I, I like the depth our, on our team right now. Obviously, we're concerned about Chaz, but just the fact that we've had players that have practiced every day and they're ready. They're ready for their opportunity. They're, you know, the freshmen are they're working hard. They're getting ready, and I think we've had some players that are comfortable stepping into those roles. You had a lot of good work against the zone today, getting ready for Big 12 play. Talk about the things that you did in the second half to attack that zone a little bit. Well, I thought we got in the gaps better. I, we talked about the last few minutes of the second of the first half. We got away from going inside out, and I thought we, that's where we did a better job of, of getting it inside, looking at the post players, and then the post players kicking it back out if they didn't have anything. The last part of the first half, I just thought we played randomly, and I think it's because we got a lead, and we, I told them I, I made a mistake. I put three freshmen in at the same time, and that's a no-no, and, uh, and I put them in the second half again, and Jay, Jay Lee said, Karen, you have three freshmen in again, get them out so we decided we'll rotate them because they take turns making mistakes but the good part about it is that's what we did all year last year we had three in there all the time so now we can pick and choose and I think that's a that's a better thing for our program I thought Imani came in off the bench and gave you some good energy this game. Got, had some blocks and was really a bit of a force inside. How does that help you leading into Big 12 play? Well, it helps a lot, and I'm trying to figure out what makes Imani comfortable. And she started the last game, and she looked a little uncomfortable, so maybe she likes to survey the land and see what's going on, get comfortable, go in, and give us something off the bench. And if that's what she's comfortable with, if she can make an impact, then that, that's awesome, and that's what we'll take. Well, good job today, Coach, and Thank good you. luck.